Sustainability uh, in this building exists at almost every scale. Uh, we have photovoltaic panels. We have a uh, geothermal well. We have high performance glazing. Uh, we have uh, any number of parts of technology that are integrated into the building, uh, which make this probably one of the most sustainable buildings I've ever worked on. Certainly, uh, uh, Ital Cimente, you know, is, is dedicated to sustainability, and so for them, uh, and I'm speaking a little bit out of turn here, but they're willing to spend more on the building in order to make it sustainable. Other, some other people don't want to do that, you know, because it, frankly, it costs more. It costs more in the construction, it costs more uh, in a, a number of ways, but in the long run, it's the right thing to do, and they recognize that, and they insisted on that. You can't do a good building without a good client. No matter what the architect does, you know, it's a, it's a collaboration. And here the collaboration, you know, really began uh, with uh, my design for the Jubilee Church in Rome. But that was be the beginning of a very fruitful collaboration. And it's only with that kind of collaboration that you can have innovation. Uh, I can't do it by myself. I could never imagine the technology needed in the manufacturing process. Uh, so you need a collaboration uh, that is unique and where everyone is trying to, in a sense, do something new, creative, but in the end, much better than we would have done uh, with known technologies. building is so striking and so such a visual presence not only from within but I think from all sides and I think that as you move around it it has a, a sculptural quality uh, and from inside as a workplace I think it's going to be for the people working here you know just a wonderful experience to come to work every day there's nothing that can in any way show the reality and the experience of being here and seeing the building at human scale. I think that what we have here is a combination of a kind of technological innovation, which is also extremely important, but also at a human scale. Uh, and when I look at the scale of the panels, you know, I, I marvel because they're big, but there's still a human scale about the, the whole 
dimensions and, and the way and the proportions of the various parts of the building. And if, if that were monolithic, for instance, if you can think of that without the joints, without the individual panels, it takes on a different reading. That's sort of the relationship between the scale of the panels, the scale of the mullions of the windows, the scale of the openings, uh, the relationship of solid to void. All of these things, which are architectural elements, is what you know gives it its human quality. It lets you it lets you uh, appreciate the colors in nature and highlights nature. And there's color all around us: the color of the sky, the color of the landscape. Uh, the color of your bright vests, you know, the whiteness enables you to see that color uh, in the clearest way. And I'm sure many people are going to come just to experience the place. I hope you will enjoy a building that is not only sustainable and efficient, but also the best working environment for everyday work and research.